he'd say, what's that? And I'd say, uh, that's it. That's the big one. We're all going to die. You can't make yourself responsible for Hiroshima, Sonia, just because you do physics. You didn't invent the bomb. And even if you had, somebody else decided to use it, a politician. Oppenheimer said he felt he had blood on his hands, and he did invent it. But President Truman's answer was, who the hell does he think he is? I'm the one who ordered them to drop the damn thing. Even Oppenheimer wasn't to blame. Scientists are supposed to figure things out. It's up to the rest of us to figure out what to do about it. I'm sorry, Sonia. I was only kidding. Maybe uh, littering is more an expression of poor toilet training. Hmm? I, I don't know. Maybe we could change the subject. <laughs> There is no accountability for scientists as there is for other professions. Why aren't we obliged, like medical doctors, to not use our knowledge destructively? It's not that simple, I don't think. Oppenheimer said he had blood on his hands. He had regrets after the fact. I have regrets because of my X-ray laser. See, I'm responsible for the consequences of my discovery. You know, we never talked about responsibility at the university, not in my time. We never discussed ethics. We were never taught value thinking. No one induced upon us the wisdom of the American Indian tribes who made all their important decisions with the seventh generation in mind. We were never taught to think about the future that way. We were taught in our closed rooms that we were doing pure science in the pursuit of pure truth, the noble pursuit of pure truth. Well, that's what science is, Sonia. Don't be so hard on yourself. No, that's what science was, maybe. But pure science hardly exists today. The scientist isn't sitting in his lab anymore, choosing to work on what fascinates him most. Science is expensive. And the Pentagon, who pays most of it, decides what is fascinating. Seventy percent of all science done in the United States today is paid by the military. We give our knowledge away without thinking about the values, without thinking about who is responsible. Well, but there is oversight. I've served on some of those oversight committees. Scientism is an irrational belief in the truth of science. It's become a religion today. It's not a good religion, but it is a dominating religion. And people, of course, who see what miracles physicists are able to achieve, like going to outer space or splitting atoms or making bombs, believe that scientists who are so powerful also must be very wise. And so they don't question their work anymore. And they leave their own responsibility in the hands of these people they envision to have this power of knowledge. And although they know that scientists are doing scary things in the shadows, they just hope that they will be careful. And then scientists hand over their responsibility to those who are paying them. And I know what happens when you hand over your responsibility to those who pay you, like I did with my laser. It broke my heart. If you're worried about the possible dangers of genetic engineering, who do you go to for advice? You have to ask a scientist. He's the only one who understands. And you pretty much have to take his word for it, too, because often you don't know even what questions to ask. Science should welcome your questions, because science itself should question everything.